I'm Shanae and this is my crazy family. It's nearly go time for this baby boy's arrival, so this week I am packing our hospital bags and putting some finishing touches on the nursery. We hope you'll take a minute to join the fam and subscribe. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a very hot minute since you have seen me in this little gym in our garage and that is because I have not worked out or honestly done much physical movement at all in weeks, months, maybe, maybe like two months. So it's time, it's time to get this body in motion. Josh has been pushing me to get myself moving again and stretching and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do a little fam jam workout today because I need that extra motivation. I need his energy to like keep me moving. It's go time. Are you gonna be my trainer today? Yes. What are we doing? 800 squats. I think I might get five squats. All right. <laughs> definitely went way harder with that workout than I intended to and I feel so good for it. So the big tasks for today are packing not just my hospital bag but also Bowie's hospital bag. We are charging her iPad which is the most essential item going in the bag basically because it has her home wrap on it. I'll tell you about that later but it is awesome and she loves it so it's a great novelty item to keep her entertained and just happy if we have to drop her off somewhere else because that will be massively outside of her comfort zone. And while I wait for that to charge and before we can do anything else today we gotta make smoothies. clean. Bowie's napping right now, so I'm gonna use this opportunity to pack her if mom goes to the hospital bag. <laughs> we are hoping to get my mother-in-law in in time to be here with Bowie, but if for whatever reason she's not able to make it at all, or if I go into labor early and have nobody here to watch Bowie, then we will be dropping her off at a friend's house. <sighs> I don't even like the idea of this. So hopefully this is like worst case scenario and it won't happen, but just want to be safe. As I said before, the first essential item going in here is a tablet and its charger. The tablet already has our favorite app for Bo on it. It's called Homer. Thank you to Homer for sponsoring this video. We started using Homer when she started school. It felt like a good time to continue to develop the things that she was learning in school in this new environment at home. Homer is an essential learning program for kids aged two to eight years old. They personalize the learning program based on your your kids age, their development level, their learning level, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And they have thousands of activities to choose from that cover every subject from reading to math to social emotional learning, which is really important to us and something that Bowie's been picking up on really, really well in school. When she comes home, we hear her identify feelings and things like that. If we're watching a TV show, she's like, oh, he's angry, he's sad, he's happy. And that's things that she's learning at school. And then we're continuing to kind of nurture through the Homer app. She's also learning to spell her name and identify letters. So when she sees letters now, she knows what they are, some of them. Um, so we're hoping that the Homer app is also gonna just help her again, continue to work on that skill. And what's really fun about it for Bo is that it gives her confidence in like achieving skills. She accomplishes something on the app. She sees that kind of instant reward of, yes, I did it. And I think that's a beautiful thing to celebrate her little wins along the way. It just encourages her to keep wanting to learn and keep wanting to, again, further develop all of those skills that are gonna be really important when she's in actual proper full-time school. You did it. <laughs> oh, I know it's such a cliche, but she's growing up so fast. This is gonna be something that just keeps her entertained, she's familiar with, she enjoys and has fun with, and 
hopefully it just kind of eases the discomfort of that very temporary but weird situation for her. So fingers crossed it works. If anyone watching has a child between the ages of two and eight and you're interested in trying out the home wrap, then I have a special link for you in the video description. If you click that, it will give you 30 days of a free trial of the Homer app. So make sure you do that. I can guarantee your kid is gonna love it. You are gonna love it because you're gonna know that they're continuing to build their confidence while further developing their learning skills. So yeah. Make sure you click that link. Okay, what else? What else, what else, what else? Obviously, I'm just packing a few changes of clothes. Josh is gonna be able to obviously go and see her and uh, make sure she's cool, bring her back to the hospital to meet her baby brother and all that kind of stuff. So he can grab more changes of clothes if for any reason she needs it, but I'm hoping I should be in and out of the hospital relatively quickly and a towel. Another really important thing. <laughs> Snacks on snacks on snacks. Her favorite snacks, because she is such a picky eater. Again, it's just like a nice little touch of familiarity if she's in a new environment. And then this is probably the weirdest thing going in here to anybody watching, but it's Nesquik powder. Oh, he loves chocolate milk. She loves chocolate milk in the morning the same way I love coffee in the morning. It starts her day on a happy note, so definitely an essential item for this bag. A little Nesquik will go a long way with my daughter. Only other things that have to go in here are a sippy cup, which I will grab from the kitchen right now. And then, like I said, she's napping, but I am gonna grab her sound machine and put it in here, because that is an absolute must for us. It is the ultimate ambiance setter for her as far as falling asleep goes. If you're traveling with a baby or a toddler, I highly recommend bringing a sound machine. It works a treat every single time with getting her off to sleep in new hotels or new Airbnbs or whatever. All right, I think we're good to go. Am I forgetting something? Probably, I have such bad baby brain. Now it's time to pack mama's hospital bag. Can't even remember what I put in my hospital bag last time, but I do remember having a lot of things in there that I did not need or use. So I'm gonna go minimalistic with my hospital bag this time. That's coming up next. What are we doing? I'm getting creek ready. Creek ready? Creek ready. Creek trip. I'm going to the creek. I'm excited to join you guys on the adventure this time. Last time we saw a crocodile. No, you didn't. Really? Alligator. No. An alligator. They're not here. <laughs> <laughs> They're not, right? No, not really, but it's going to be a shock. Well, yes. Your weatherman is back. Just, uh, just another 8,000 degree day here in Tennessee. I have an entire bag of chips. That is my contribution to this activity. What would activity? happen if I put an egg on the floor, for real? It would probably cook. It's honestly. really hot, isn't it? It is. Bo, say hi. Hi. Say, how are you? How are you? Did they have a good day? Did you have a good day? Yeah, did you? So we're here, we are at our little creek, our secret creek. It's not that secret, somebody else is here today. <sighs> oh my goodness. You ready? Let's go. How do you like the creek life? I really love it. Would you recommend? I would highly recommend. Recommend to a friend? Recommend to a friend, but definitely bring like a chair or something. Bowie's caught some massive rocks today, haven't you? I did have rocks. That's right. <laughs> okay. Love you. Is that fun? I was going to pack my own hospital bag yesterday, as you know, but then Bowie woke up from her nap and we just wanted to do something fun instead. So it's happening right now starting with toiletries. I feel like I brought like way too many products last time. All I need are the bare essentials, like face wash, shampoo, conditioner, obviously moisturizer, and 
Is that it? Oh, toothbrush and toothpaste, but I mean, I can't pack that. It's a lot of money. Toothpaste, shampoo, conditioner, dry shampoo, a brush, a scrunchie, eye cream, eyelash serum, moisturizer. Well, it's an oil, but I use it as moisturizer. And a little toner to get off any makeup that's being reluctant. And face wash. That feels like I'll be covered with everything that I need. Boom. And it closes. Oh. Toiletries, done. Now everything else. Toiletry bag done and dusted going in the bag. Then I have got comfy socks, easy to slip on comfy slippers, two nursing bras, which is good to have. I'm honestly not even going to bring any underwear because I was just in like the mesh hospital provided underwear the entire time I was there last time. They're also going to provide like all the pads and diapery type of things that you need. I've breastfed before, so I'm forgoing any nipple bombs or anything like that because I had no issues last time. I am bringing a robe. It's not my comfiest robe, but it's small enough to fit in this bag, so that will work. Two massively oversized, tunicky, t-shirty, super comfy, dress things. I just know that I can whip my boob out real easily and go to the bathroom without anything hurting my incision. So boom. Okay. Now I definitely know the baby brain is affecting my memory because I know I'm forgetting stuff. Going to bring a blanket and pillows for Josh. His sleeping situation at the hospital is obviously a lot worse than mine. Snacks. Snacks is what we forgot last time. We didn't bring any snacks and Josh was starving. I wasn't even allowed to eat anything for a while, so it wasn't an issue for me, but he was starving. So we definitely need to make sure we bring snacks for Josh, toiletries for Josh, pillow and blanket for Josh, clothes for Josh, I think maybe everything that's left is actually for Josh. Gotta bring a charger for my phone. That's a must. I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna bring my reusable water bottle. I never leave the house without it anyway, so that's not a big deal. And then I'll obviously bring our wallets, which also has our insurance card already in them. I printed out like multiple copies of a birth plan last time. And if you've ever seen what happened during my first birth, you know that nothing went according to that plan. So I'm not bothering with any of that this time. Duh an outfit for the baby. Hold on, I'll be right back. This is what baby boy is gonna be coming home in. And this is super special. I teased this a couple weeks ago on this channel. I don't know if you caught it, but I have designed a onesie with the incredible brand Baby Breeze. Um, but we actually wore Baby Breeze home from the hospital when she was born and it was just one of their marble prints, which I love so much. She literally only wore these onesies for the entire first year of her life. I didn't put her in anything else because they are the perfect garment of baby clothing. It's a zipper, which is an absolute must. If you're a mom, you already know this because snaps and stuff the whole way down are just a pain in the butt. It also has optional foot covers and hand covers. So you don't need socks or gloves for your baby. They just pop right over. They are just the softest, most comfortable <laughs> onesies in the world. Like I really wish they made them in adult sizes, but they don't. And this one is the one that I designed. I always had a dream of making my own kids line one day. And I had this paint splatter idea in my head. I actually bought a ton of fabric similar to this ages and ages ago when I was pregnant with Bowie because I was in super nesting mode and whipped out my sewing machine and was sewing her all kinds of stuff. So this is really exciting. This is going to be available for sale, by the way, in like two days. So make sure you're following me on Instagram to grab one of these or one in every size, whatever, <laughs> before they sell out because I think they're going to sell out really quick. And that's all he's going to need. Honestly, they provide all of the diapers and wipes and everything like that there. And that's about it, guys. Like I said, the only thing left to do is pack Josh up, but Bowie's done, Mama's done, Baby Boy is done, and oh my gosh, this is all really happening really, really soon. Just got to the Main Street downtown area near our house. 
for a little festival that's apparently going on, but it started at 10 a.m. and it's now 4 p.m. So I don't know if it's still happening, really. Um, the road still looks blocked off, so fingers crossed we can find yummy snacks. No. No? Candy. Oh, candy. We're looking for candy, not yummy snacks. <laughs> hey, Minnie Mouse. So we're already back at the car and I think I need to report a robbery actually because I was robbed. Oh my god. By yes. by an old lady. Older lady. Older person. And um well, you can see for yourself why I was robbed. Look. How much do you think something like this might cost? 50 bucks. bucks if it was made in like by a machine I thought this is going to be expensive it's going to be at least 20 bucks do you want that one yeah. what's his name uh, cat baby cat baby yeah. would you like him yeah thank you that's alright baby <laughs> <She's just pretending. laughs> worth every penny you oh my god <laughs> <laughs> she went I'm kin friendly, they can touch and hug whatever they want. And I was like, Well, you're talking she about was the referring toys, right? to the toys. Well, you but just it's don't like, know. yeah, okay, let my two don't year old know. hug any of the toys that she wants. What are you talking about? And of you course she's not gonna let the two year old hug all the toys she wants, and that's why we left but I'm with saying, a fifty dollar cat baby. It, the lady's tactic worked. That like, apparently actually it's very does effective. have legs in here. And then I ate half a dozen donuts by myself because Bowie didn't want any of them and that was fine. And then I had to pee so we stopped into this hotel which like turned out to be the bougiest hotel ever and Bowie had gotten hot in her Minnie Mouse dress and took it off. So she was just wearing this little t-shirt that we bought her where we were walking along from like the festival or whatever. Hey, so she went, she walked into this like super, super expensive bougie hotel where people were having a wedding in her underwear and a tie-tie t-shirt. Bo, can you show what you got in your hand? A free dog treat. Yeah. Completely free. They were giving them out in a bowl. We don't even have our dog with us. Right. But that's really hey, been the MVP oh, of the no, festival. She does want cat baby now. Festival anyway. was a major success. See you Bye. Bye. See you at home. So it's a Sunday. I usually use a Sunday to like do some stuff around the house, any painting that needs doing, anything that needs putting together with new furniture, especially as we only moved in, not that long ago really, and Sinead likes to buy furniture. Little dude's room is, is coming together. We've still got a few pieces, well, some of the key pieces of furniture are still on their way, but sinead has been wanting to put this rug down for a minute, so there's no time like the present. And that way also, if he does arrive early, he can just sleep on the rug, can't he? <laughs> so. Um, and then the other thing I want to do is why I started telling you all this in the cupboard is I'm just going to organise this a little bit more just because maybe some washing needs to go in, some bits and pieces need to get unpacked. You know what it's like with a, with a new baby, you just have like a million and one new things and I don't know, if he shows up when he wants to show up and we're not ready to go, it's all going to feel like 10 million things to do. Yes. Join us in unrolling the rug. I've been trying to get Josh to unroll these rugs for like six weeks this and he keeps putting it off. We watched our sit down from last week and we said we only endorse things that we use is proof. <laughs> Josh is cutting that open right now and what that is is like a I think it's a half inch memory foam pad which we learned the hard way to use with Bowie in her nursery. Once she started moving around more and stuff, it was just so much easier on her knees and if she rolled over or hit her head or whatever, then it was really cushy and soft. That's going down first and then the rugs will go on top.
slight hiccup. The mat is too long underneath. Like it lines up exactly. So we're gonna get scissors and just cut it. I think that's fine. Guys, what do you think? Wow. Wow. Oh, it's comfy, isn't it, Bo? Yep. Should we nap? Should we have a nap here today? Instead of in your bed? Yeah. Okay. It's it on my bed. It's seriously so comfy. Sit it on my bed. Memory foam pad under a kid's rug is a must have. And I got another rug for that little corner because that's where the armchair, rocking chair is gonna go. So I'm gonna put that down now too. in a rocking chair, it's really hard to do. And then this is for my feet, and I'm just like rocking <laughs> and holding a baby. You wanna be my baby? No, I wanna, I wanna rock. Oh, you wanna rock? Okay, put your feet up. Okay, and then we're rocking, and we have the baby. <laughs> yeah. It's nice, uh, right? Coming yeah. together. Slowly but surely. Yeah. And the gang will wind it out. We are just sitting in front of our computer getting ready to do our live webinar that we told you guys about in a recent video. By the time you're watching this, it will have already happened, but you can still click the link in the video description to get the replay of the video if you're interested. Can you? Yeah. I think you have to have signed up. No. Oh, Maybe. really? Yeah. That's great. <laughs> I've been giving everyone the wrong information as always. So if you wanna know yeah. how we turned our passion into profitable businesses for ourselves and some tools and tricks we learned along the way, if you're interested in doing that for yourself, then you can click the link in the video description below. Anyway, we're done for the week. We'll see you next Sunday. See you next Sunday. Mwah! I don't know why I did that. No, we no. can't high five, can we? No. Goodbye.